All right, we're gonna do this again. I'm using a bigger flask, so we're gonna try to capture the gas this time to see if we can keep the mass the same with that third reaction. Um, so I've already put um, all the chemicals in like we did before. Get a mass here. Of course, this is a little bit more now, now that it uh, is a bigger flask. So we've got 421.28 grams this time. Uh, we'll go ahead and combine our substances. So first step here, remember no gas was uh, made with this, but this is the one that got all, all chunky, so you can kind of see that. We'll take our mass again here. Or 21.27 so again basically exactly the same mass um, and now we'll mix I'm gonna try to do this um, and capture all the gas this time um, so I'll take this down so you can see I'm gonna unstopper pour it in and then restopper it real quick to try to catch all the gas Woo! and you saw that it popped right off so there was enough gas produced that it did pop that cork off I don't know if it'll stay on now or not. Okay, I didn't expect that. I thought this would be big enough to capture all of that. So we'll see what happens when I put it back on now. If we captured enough. Nope, we still lost quite a, well, not as much this time. Now we got 420.96. So we didn't lose quite as much <laughs> mass this time because I tried to capture um, all that gas. So just kind of wanted you guys to be able to see that. Um, that if we do capture the gas, it does make a difference um, in the mass.